sure the queen's fine then. Maybe I wish I hadn't put in, not put in that last frame. I'm going to pull out this frame, which doesn't look like anybody's done anything to yet. Way back when I was first putting this together, I, uh, come on, you guys get up there. Uh, I moved some of these frames that she initially started on down to the other end of the box. And some guys have been working on that end. Whoa, almost dropped in. That, I've heard, is with, can be your little catastrophe. You start dropping them and then the, the bees will get angry. So I'm going to shove this one closer to the other one. It's amazing to me how uh, full the beehive is. It almost seems like they've been hatching already, but that can't be. Uh, it takes three weeks for them to come back around, so... Now I don't know how I'll even get nine frames back in there. They're so stuck in there. Watch out, you guys. Almost feels like I'm squishing them. Yeah. I don't think I am. But like I said, I don't see how I'll even get these nine frames back together. nerve-wracking still having bees crawl around on you, you know what I mean? Give them a little bit more smoke. And uh, just because it is nerve-wracking like that, it makes me want to flinch away. And I think it's those fast movements that are going to end up getting me stung one day. back together. Oh. Occasionally, unfortunately, there gets to be a squish bee in this process. Let's see if I can get these other two unworked frames back in there. buzz around my ears again. I think this is the veil and the gloves and such is just to keep me from flinching. All right, well, good. I got all my frames back in there. Well, that wasn't a squisher. I guess I should pull it out and see if it's a squisher or not. Really not at all. They have drawn it out farther than I would have wanted, though, I think. That's part of the reason that these frames go together the way they do, is they leave three-eighths of an inch between each frame. And that's the distance that the bees need to do their thing. But now I've got comb coming out much farther than that three-eighths of an inch. So, well, anyhow, all back together, nine frames in there. I'm going to smoke it one more time just for... The heck of it, I guess. I really don't need to when I'm putting back together. I have these little patties that I've made from stuff that I bought that are uh, supposed to be good protein for them. And they say to just lay them inside here. Uh, this is a mix of a dry, powdery substance that's similar to pollen, I guess, in, in its content, uh, mixed with a sugar water type. Uh, thing and turn into a paste, kind of like a bread dough, and then I squished them out. And they say just to put them in there on top of frames like that, and that'll provide good protein for the brood. Here we go with this. I think I'm going to steal a little bit of this beeswax. See how that, see what it is. Very fun. So, all right. Lid back on. Everybody off the lid. 
and hopefully they'll eat them. I had one outside of the nest and it got rained on and I should say hi, but it got rained on. So, all right. That was fun to see those eggs in there. Okay. Well, thank you for stopping by. Start a beehive. I'm Scott, the Urban Beekeeper. Um, I'll see you next week, probably, and hopefully we'll see that some uh, larva is coming out of those cat brood cells. Fascinating. Startabeehive.com.